うん。ああ、sorry, I got big gulp there of my、uh, coffee from Taco Bell. Just got some breakfast. Tried their new、uh, breakfast box. Pretty good. Taco, you know, I'm a, I'm a Taco Bell guy. Anyway, I got some coffee running through my system,、uh, and I figure let's do an episode of tonight's double feature. So, welcome. I wanted to show off my new, see that, my new Dawn of the Dead dad hat. It just says Dawn. If you know, you know, you know.、Um, and I figured to celebrate the occasion, let's do some mall madness. Let's talk about horror movies, well established horror movies that take place in malls. And needless to say, we're going to begin with the original, the classic, the one and only Dawn of the Dead, the original 1978、uh, zombie epic by George A. Romero. Truly one of my favorite films. And if you're a zombie fan, I'm guessing you probably feel the same way because、um, it's just one of the best of all time.、Um, I will post a link down below to this. Last year, I went to the、uh, Monroeville Mall where Dawn of the Dead was filmed and I did a little,、uh, little mini documentary about it. So if you would like to check that out, I'll leave a link down below. It's on B Movie Mania's YouTube channel. Super, super fun. If you're ever in the area, highly recommend checking it out. And especially、um, if you're there for, they do Living Dead Weekend once a year in Monroeville. And all of the stars of the various Living Dead films come out to, you know, take photos and sign autographs and everything. So. Highly recommend Living Dead Weekend. Or if you're just at the mall, you know, if you're in Monroeville, go, go check out、uh, some of the filming locations. There's a great statue, like a bust of George Romero in, inside the mall. It's, it's great. Highly recommend. Anyway, what can I say about Dawn of the Dead that hasn't already been said、um, a million times? I don't know. It's a great film. I have this、um, release here from who put this out? I don't even know. Anchor Bay. Anchor Bay released this in 2004 or something like that, maybe. I think、uh, perhaps after the remake came out.、Um, and it actually looks pretty good、uh, on DVD. And then recently, I also picked up this box set. I got this from somebody on Craigslist. I just went to、uh, this guy's place in town and picked this up. This is the ultimate edition from.、Uh, might also be Anchor Bay. I'm not sure. Yeah, Anchor Bay. But、uh, I'll show you the back really quick. This has、uh, three different cuts on it. So、um, it has the US theatrical cut, it has the European cut. Uh, it has the extended version, and there's a fourth disc with a bunch of documentaries on it. So, as you can see, this is sealed. I, I, I bought this, and I'm kind of still debating whether or not I'm going to keep it or try to sell it. I'm leaning towards keeping it just because I love Dawn of the Dead. I would prefer to keep this in my collection. And I think that there's a little scratch on the front. I don't know if you can see that. Scratch right there, so it might not be as valuable、um, with that on it, even though it is still sealed. It goes on eBay for a decent amount of money, but、uh, I'll probably hold on to it. I realize that I'm not really reviewing this film, and I apologize for that. But, like I said, what, what is there to say really? Um, I love the characters. I love the setting, obviously. I love the,、uh, you know, all of George's movies have a little piece of social commentary in them. And I love the 
sort of little message about consumerism in this film. It's very well known, of course, but uh, I'm a mall guy too. I enjoy going to the mall. Uh, a lot of time I just go to my local mall to um, browse movies and stuff like that, walk around a little bit. So a zombie movie set in the mall, um, it just does it for me. And I think it does it for a lot of people out there, you know, which is why it is such a classic. So there's Dawn of the Dead. If for whatever reason you haven't seen it, please go check it out. It's, um, I know that it's still a little bit hard to get a hold of, but you can, you know, it's out there. You can find it. Movie number two, let me get a quick sip here. I, uh, I got my coffee black and then I added some, uh, oat milk creamer to it of my own. And it's, uh, Got a very nice flavor to it. Movie number two, of course, is Chopping Mall. Another absolute mall madness classic from the 80s, directed by Jim Wynerski. And as you can see, I totally forgot about this. I have a uh, autographed copy of Chopping Mall with Jim's autograph on it. And he says, to Paul, have a nice day which is, of course, a famous uh, quote from the movie from the Killbots. Um, things I love about this movie. Let me show you the back really quick. Things I love about this movie, the runtime. Actually, quite the juxtaposition between these two. Should we do a thumbnail? Quite the juxtaposition... between these two. Dawn of the Dead, um, at least the cut that is on this particular release is 127 minutes. You know, it's an epic film, so I think it works really well as a longer movie. But in stark contrast, Chopping Mall, pardon me, 77 minutes. It is brisk. It is uh, no nonsense. It gets right down to it. And I appreciate that as well. You know, it, it works for this movie uh, very nicely. This film was uh, made primarily at the, I want to say the Sherman Oaks Galleria in Los Angeles. And earlier this year, I didn't really plan on this happening. It just sort of worked out. I actually shot part of my movie, Hunting for the Hag, at the Sherman Oaks Galleria in a little uh, office office building type thing. Um, so kind of neat to say that I have shot a movie at the same location as Chopping Mall. I'm not 100% sure on that because I think at some point the mall that uh, they shot Chopping Mall in kind of got either renovated or like completely redone and it really doesn't look you know like anything like it does in this film anymore which is to be expected I mean we're talking what is it 86 yeah 1986 this came out so quite a while ago but this movie is great um you have you have some uh great performances by um Barbara Crampton or yeah Barbara Crampton's in it and uh, Dick Miller's in it, Paul Bartell, Kelly Maroney. It's so much fun. Um, and I think that this would make a great double feature because of the contrast between the two. You get a really long movie in there. And then, you know, if you need a little something extra, you go with some chopping mall. Tonally, they're very different. Dawn of the Dead is, you know, more serious. Chopping Mall has a little bit of a more humorous vibe. And this movie famously um, uh, kind of took off because of the title change. They were originally going to call, call it Killbots because, you know, you have these... And it doesn't really show. There's one on the back. You have these robots that are the security guards that, that guard the mall... Uh, as sort of like an experimental uh, security measure. And, of course, things go horribly wrong for all of the young 
teenagers who are in the mall. And um, yeah, the film was originally called Killbots. And then as the story goes, uh, they were screening the film as they were working on it and talking about what needed to change, talking about the title, talking about various things. And a janitor who was uh, working at this screening room or someone who worked at the screening room famously said, why don't you just call it Chopping Mall? And they took his suggestion. And I'm telling you, folks, a good title is everything because Chopping Mall um, turned into the cult classic that it is today because they took that suggestion and changed the title. So if you're out there, if you're a filmmaker and you are, uh, you know, trying to make a movie, please think of your titles, especially today. I mean, it can make or break, you know, whether or not anyone pays any attention to it because the market is so oversaturated that you have to come up with something interesting to just to grab people's attention. I saw a uh, ad for something the other day called Clown in a Cornfield. I don't know if the movie's any good. I haven't seen it, but the title got my attention, you know. Uh, you can't call something whatever, you know, the game or something like that. It's just not going to work. I mean, I guess that movie did pretty well. But you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. In this day and age, you got to do something interesting to grab people's attention. Did I do a thumbnail already? Yeah, I did. I'll do one more, just for, safe, just for safety. Dawn of the Dead and Chopping Mall. Needless to say, two of the all-time classics... If you haven't seen either of them, please run to your local video store and rent it today. Rent both of them today. Thank you for watching.